Hi there, today we're going to ink this mummy drawing. Uh, so we're going to ink in the pencil drawings, or the pencil lines, sorry, that we've uh, already done. And on this stage we'll start to add some more details as well. You know, to, just to add to the whole drawing and shading, etc. and all that jazz. Skull eye sockets. Do some more lines down there. Extra lines come out there. More details here and there. like a rotten skull and that's what these uh, little squiggly lines here and there in carefully chosen places can achieve you see so you see how the drawing comes together once you ink the, the pencil drawing you can you know you just you can see what you know what colors you're going to add to it and you know, you can, it's, it's great. <laughs> I love drawing, it's fantastic. You can draw like extra lines on here just to help add to the texture of the bandages and on here you could uh, draw extra little wrinkles you know like because um, it'll be like a little bit shriveled up with them being uh, wrapped in bandages for century centuries I can talk properly. <laughs> yeah. So really at the inking stage, like I said before, just try and vary the lines, you know, from the pencil drawing, try and add something more to the drawing. You know. You'll 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 find out you have you know, better results with your drawing. Um, you know, it's looking okay so far. So far, so good. Um, so, and you'll know, speak too soon, it will all go wrong. <laughs> but it shouldn't do. I mean, once you've done the, you know, initial pencil drawing, you're pretty much in a position to make something of that uh, when it comes to the inking stage um, so yeah just, just get on with it and see what you can come up with see how I've got these bandages I'm trying to make them a bit more thicker and like they're actually wrapped around him and 
you know. like fingernails and things like that extra lines so that's one arm and then we can you know start to fill in other areas I mentioned before like at the pencil stage I want that to be a shaded area so we can do that start to mark it off loose bandage there all on its own And you can start to, you know, add extra bits here, which that'll wrap around that bit there. Again, just do the same. I've made this arm slightly, it looks slightly dislocated. Um, and I did do that on purpose, just so. Because you think about it, mummies, they're like, uh, they're like bags of bones, really, and you know, bones can get broken or, you know joints can get dislocated uh, you know like zombies really just like the walking dead type thing so it's just fun to do fun to draw conveniently like but <laughs> just draw it in anyway and to do like diagonal lines as well there uh, from that side and this you can do like all a wrinkly mess of rotten skin and other stuff it's all rotting and festering and you know you can draw in 
is quite random. This is the shaded area. Try and go like uh, one, you know, like one type of direction of the line, just so it like uh, it sort of continues from, you know, where you left off. It creates an area of shadow there. Any more details that you can, you know, cram in there, just just do it. That bit will go under there. And some more detailed lines up here. Just a real suggestion of the rib cage. You'd have to, you know, draw too much detail there. Extra details here and there. We want some lines on this just to make it blend in with the rest of the, the drawing. Any extra details that help, um, you know, create a bit of interest on the, you know, mummy figure. Where we draw. small details extra bits of shading where you want it you know that leg wants to go off in the distance and if you you just have trouble drawing the full leg um, you know you maybe just like draw some like mist or something or something that will cover that because once you've got that leg that just goes down there, it pretty much, you know, says that it's walking forward. So, you know, you can hide the area if you want. A lot of professional artists have seen them do that. So, you know, you can do the same little tricks. Again, try and do a bit of that inking where it's like lines that'll sort of match the same way and there we go and we'll go just quickly do this foot do a couple of quick bandages on there toenails there to sketch them in you don't have to go too much detail it's going to be seriously manky cheesy feet anyway so you know it's <laughs> and then once we've got we've got the main area covered it's just the sword area which we need to sort this hand out because initially I drew that uh, thumb but it was going the wrong way <laughs> small mistake there but you know just try and make it as 
so they can keep him with a you know the wrinkly not too you know structured but well it is structured but you know what I mean uh, you know hand draw the fingers in here like that maybe try and don't know, maybe put a little claw on that cutlass I don't remember what the Egyptian cutlasses look like. Uh, they look something similar. Um, but I should have researched it really. Normally I would. I'd have a few reference pictures. You know, but I just wanted to draw from my imagination really. I didn't want to draw like a mummy straight out of the mummy films or anything like that. You know, with a like a stretched long face and a, a bald head you know I just wanted to draw like a classic but my own interpretation of a mummy so draw like the handle there that's some kind of hook or something and a few little lines on here a bit of shading on this just to help separate you know little areas there we go and that's roughly marked in there we can just a few little details there here and there and that's near enough how we want our mummy drawing to look like and we can start the colour stage after we've rubbed out the pencil lines of course and in the colour stage I might add some you know like just like some mist like I said or a green mist maybe yeah that might look quite good um, just uh, sign it and there we go watch out for the colour stage